Thanksgiving special assignment support video, which explains the introduction as well as the turkey on my head. We're, uh, we're practicing dividing fractions on tonight's assignment. As we did in class, and we learned the definition of division says dividing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. And just to demonstrate that, if I gave you a, a division problem like 800 divided by 2, you wouldn't go up here and set up long division you would just know it's 400 but you're not divide you're not really thinking of dividing by 2 you're thinking of what's half of 800 because dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by 1 half 800 divided by 2 is the same as saying half of 800 so dividing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal and the reciprocal of 2 2 over 1 is 1 over 2 and so if you take half of 800 you get 400 and that just demonstrates that Dividing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. If we apply the definition of division to problem C, which is on the back of this sheet, it's the third one at the top on the back of this sheet. Um, we don't want to have to think about how many 12s are in 9 tenths. That's hard to think about that, but we can change it to an easier problem multiplication by understanding that dividing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, and the reciprocal of 12 over 1 is 1 over 12. And now we look for ways to simplify this, this numerator 9 and this denominator 12 have a common factor of 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So now when we multiply, we have 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 for our numerator and our quotient, and 10 multiplied by 4 is 40 for our denominator. I say quotient because it started as a division problem, but you know we changed it to multiplication, so you could think of this as a product at this point also. 340s can't be simplified further, so I expect that's the correct answer. But we'll know for sure when we when we go to fill in this button. The way the button works is you look for 340s. I see two and a half here, four fifths. This two and a half tells me that if I get an improper fraction, I should um, convert it to a mixed number to find it. Uh, but we're looking for 3 40ths, and as I go around the button, I don't see 3 40ths anywhere, which is not necessarily a bad thing. If we don't find it, maybe we made a mistake, and that gives us a chance to uh, look for our error. Although here it is, 3 40ths right here. And so you put a C above the 3 40ths on your button. And if there was another 3 40ths, I would put another C above that 3 40ths. There's only one in this case, but in some other cases, you'll have uh, the letter appearing multiple times. Um, I've formatted the assignment so that once you uh, finish the phrase on your button, you can cut the button out and wear it tomorrow. Uh, I'll be wearing my button tomorrow. All the cool kids will be wearing their fraction button tomorrow, so make sure you're wearing yours. If you cut it out and uh, come to me, I'll, I've got double-sided tape. There's some different ways that you could wear it, so I'll look for you in the morning and see if you have your button and you want to wear your button. I'm going to do uh, one other problem with you here uh, to try to demonstrate a couple things. Problem I, which is the first of the two word problems, says a turtle walked one half mile at a rate of one fifth mile per hour. How long did it take? And so sometimes when you're dealing with um, difficult rational numbers like a half and a fifth, it, it pays to um, use a method called solve a simpler problem. So you take the larger number, which in this case is half, and replace it with the number 10. And then you take the smaller number, one fifth, and replace it with the number two. And then if we reread it, it'll be more clear what we need to do with these numbers. A turtle walked 10 miles at a rate of two miles per hour. How long did it take? So if the, if the turtle's walking two miles per hour, in one hour he goes two miles, two hours, four miles, three hours, six miles, um, but to find out how long it takes to go 10 miles, we want to know how many twos are in 10. And that's division. 10 divided by 2 will tell us it would take him 5 hours. 
But once we know what the operation is, that the operation is division, then we can just apply that operation to the more difficult numbers, one half divided by one fifth. And during the pause, if you apply the definition of division, dividing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. You can solve this problem. Um, look for your answer on the button and then come back and see how you did. Paused. Applying the definition of division, one half divided by one fifth is the same as one half multiplied by the reciprocal of one fifth, which is five, or five over one. And there's no simplifying to be done here, so I just multiply one multiplied by five is five, and two multiplied by one is two. And um, that's that improper fraction is in simplest form, but we want to express it as a mixed number to find it on the button. Uh, five halves can be thought of as four halves and one half. The two goes into four two times, so there's two holes here and one half. And so the mixed number solution is two and one half. If you look around on the button, you find it right away. There's two and a half right there, so you put an I above that two and a half. Since I is a vowel, it will likely show up uh, many places. There it is again, two and a half. Here it is a third time. Uh, that looks like two and a half, but that's actually two and one twelfth. Here's two and one half here. Uh, and there's another one. I think I got them all, but you just check, be thorough and check uh, on yours. Make sure you put the letter above each one of those two and a halves. I want to demonstrate one other thing. And what I've done here is I've taken a whole, one whole, and I've divided it up into tenths to demonstrate something. Now, when you're dividing, you, you see that we did not need a common denominator. But in order to show this model solution, I need a common denominator. And I'll, I'll show you how this works. We're starting with one half. So half of my whole is this much of my whole, five tenths. And then if we want to know how many one fifths are in one half, well, every fifth is two tenths. If I want to know how many fifths are in a half, there's a fifth. So there's one one fifth. Here's a second one fifth. And the, the third one fifth would be here, but I don't have all of it. I only have one half of the, the, the one fifth. So there's a, there's a model demonstrating how you can see that there are two and one half fifths in one half of one whole. And let me just write one more thing. There are two and one half one-fifths in one-half. And two and one-half fifths is two and one-half multiplied by a fifth. So five halves multiplied by one-fifth should be one-half. But of course it is because these fives are canceling. You get one-half. That's just showing you the inverse. If, if this quotient is really two and a half, I should be able to multiply it by one-fifth. Multiply it by one-fifth here to get my uh, my initial dividend and, and that does work out that way okay i appreciate you watching the uh thanksgiving special i'll see you tomorrow